Hi, Matt Casey, Data Science Content Lead at Snorkel AI, here to talk about Snorkel's new Foundation Model Management Workflow with Vade, an engineer who worked on the project. Vade, could you introduce yourself a little bit further? Hey, Matt, I'm Vade. I'm a software engineer on the Foundation Models team. Today, I'm really excited to show you the new FM Management Workflow that allows users to create and set new integrations and models. As we head into the prompting workflow, we can see that we have a number of models to select from. For OpenAI, we have GPT 3.5 Turbo and GPT-4, but in this case, I want to use gpt 40 I can head into the admin settings and take a look at the new FM management workflow. As we can see, we have a number of integrations, as well as a number of models that are connected to these integrations. As we can see, we have the OpenAI model provider connected. If I delete this model provider, I'll see that all of the associated models for OpenAI have now been deleted. I can now connect this OpenAI integration by inputting my OpenAI API key and clicking Save. If I want to update my OpenAI API key, without deleting the models, I can head over to the edit integration where I can input a different OpenAI API key and click save. Now I want to add the gpt 40 model. We can now head to the add models button where I can configure a particular model. I can see a number of integrations I can select from, including OpenAI, which I want in this case. I can also select the model type of the model. Currently, the supported model types are text-to-text, -text, question answering, and document visual question answering. I can input the model name I desire, in this particular case, gpt 40 as well as the appropriate OpenAI chat completions endpoint. Now I can click Add, and we can see that gpt 40 is now configured in the FM management page. Now I can head back to the prompting workflow and take a look at my available models, and I'll see I have gpt 40 I can click Preview Prompt on 100 examples to see how gpt 40 labels these documents. As we can see, gpt 40 has given labels for these 100 documents and it achieved the precision of 95%. This is how we can update and add new models to the platform. Well, that was a very quick and easy process. What was it like before? Previously, if a user wanted to add or change a model, they would have to go to the SDK and run a number of commands to add and configure the API tokens as well as their model parameters. Well, it's, it's great that this has become so easy. But why is this important in a modern enterprise setting? This is important because customers want an easy way to add and manage their models across a wide variety of different integrations. So I see that we can add models very quickly. So when OpenAI introduces a new model, say GPT-5, how quickly will, be able, will people be able to add that into Snorkelflow and start using it? Yeah, great question. So we've added a number of general abstractions to our FM platform so that when a new model provider, such as OpenAI, releases a brand new model, it will be available in Snorkelflow on day one without any code changes necessary. You just enter it here and you're ready to go, right? That's correct. So I imagine new models are coming out all the time. It would be very easy to get overwhelmed by the number of models in your dropdown. Is there any way to manage these? Yes, if you head back to the FM management workflow, all we have to do is head down to the model section. And for a particular model card, we can just click the trash gun icon to get a confirmation that we want to delete this model and click delete. That easy, and then it's gone. So these look like some very easy to use and powerful features. What might come next? Yeah, so we have a number of amazing features planned. Uh, in this release, we added three new integrations, Amazon SageMaker, Azure ML, and Azure OpenAI. But we will continue to expand the number of integrations we support. Additionally, we're also aiming to allow users to configure custom hyperparameters for their models to tailor their model to their needs. Well, Vade, thank you very much for showing me the new foundation model workflow, and we'll talk again soon. Bye. Sounds good. Thank you, Matt.